Um, number one from yesterday, our uh, diabetic. Um, Not anymore. <laughs> Say it. Why we did this. Say it. Say it. Not anymore. That's wonderful. It. I should blood check that count louder. Last night, I think it was 194, but they said it was way down this morning, so yeah. I don't need to tell The initial day after surgery, the sugars in patients even who are not diabetic is often high, and the reason behind that is that part of the body's response to the surgery is a what's called the stress response. You know, you've heard of the fight or flight, and your body, although you were anesthetized yesterday, is in the midst of a tremendous response to what is essentially uh, being hit by a bus yesterday. You said hit by a Mack truck, and that's really what happened. You were asleep for the trauma of being hit by a bus, but the body is responding to that right. by releasing cortisol and adrenaline and other hormones, which can bump up your sugar during the first day. But we expect that that's a transient bump, and it should drop. And so just like the pain, the nausea, the other recovery symptoms, that the worst of it is last night, a little bit better this morning, a little bit better by lunchtime, a little bit better by this afternoon, and every day after that, kind of like, uh, so uh, we expect that you're on your road to being a former diabetic. That's right. Yay.